okay let us discuss the next problem so this is something related to cis to trans conversion so if you have alkene you can convert so a trans alkene can be converted into cis alkene or cis alkene can be converted into trans alkene basically this can be done by two ways so either it can be acid catalyzed or it can be radical catalyzed so it can be either acid catalyzed or it can be radical catalyzed so this problem is something related to radical catalysis so let us say a uh, problem number 6.44 so this says suggest a radical mechanism to account for the interconversion of cis to trans isomer heating with i2 so let us say what this says you have a trans isomer of an alkene so here you have r let us say r and i have hydrogen hydrogen if you heat this with i2 so i2 is taken and if you heat you will finally convert into cis so trans can be converted into cis and cis can be converted into trans so you have to suggest a mechanism now some hint i will give to you first hint is i2 has very low bond dissociation energy so i do in has very low bond dissociation energy bond dissociation energy energy you can write similarly ci bond also has very low bond energy so bond in has low bond energy are you getting so ci bond is also having very low bond energy so i have been given you two hint i2 has a very low bond energy this means i can break a pi i bond and i can generate something radical kind of thing and now i have also given you carbon iodine bond also have very low bond energy so you can also break carbon iodine bond if you have now let me see how many of you are able to do i will give you another hint that is enough you have to first generate a radical and you add the radical on double bond and then you lose some some more bond and then you finally convert it to alkene that is enough hint let us wait for 1 minute okay let me tell you so what can you do is in the first step you have iodine you can heat and if you are heating you are basically breaking the iodine iodine bond so you will have two i dot are you getting or not so what is the car where you can write iodine iodine one electron going this side one electron going this side so you will have two i dot now you take the cis alkene or trans alkene whatever you have trans alkene you have and if you treat this trans alkene with i dot so now this is a radical initiator so this one electron and one electron from i dot can combine and can make bond and this one electron can go where so what you will have you will have cr h and here you will have one electron then c h r and here you have iodine are you getting now the things are over we have done once the single bond is here cr h c h r i now the rotation about the single bond is permissible so i can rotate initially if they are trans i can rotate this so that they can become cis cr r 
let us say h i have here i have h and dot and iodine so if i do rotation then i will have cis now what is the next stent we have next stent is i can lose iodine dot so this one electron goes here one electron goes here one electron goes here if i follow this step what i will have i will have c double bond c r h r h so finally what we have done we have converted into cis so cis can be converted into trans or trans can be converted into cis these all steps are basically reversible step so this can go from this side to that side also so these all steps are reversible are you getting so cis can be converted into so this is a radical mechanism so by radical you if you use a radical initiator you can convert cis into trans or trans into cis this can also be done in the presence of acid in that case h plus will add on car alkene and it will generate a carbocation and then you can have a rotation about the single bond you can try that one also will give you hint for that one also so let us copy those who have not copied okay i think all of you have done so you can write the mechanism for cis to trans conversion or trans to cis conversion in acidic medium also so let me show you you can do the same thing in let me take the next page so if i do in the acidic medium what can we do is so i have c double bond c r and this is fairly easy you can do this conversion in acidic medium you have a trans if you add h plus now this goes here to getting or not so this takes h plus so if this takes h plus so you will have c h r and double bond c r oh my god this double bond has gone h let us say h so i will have here positive charge so this double bond is gone are you getting so i will have a single bond now rotation about this bond is permissible because this is a single bond so if you rotate you will have c h r c if you rotate r can come down side and then hydrogen and hydrogen here we have plus charge to getting in the next step you can lose h plus basically when some base can take h plus and if you do that you can convert into so let us say r and here also you will have r here you will have r, h h so this is your cis form are you getting so you have converted trans to cis all these steps are reversible step this step is reversible so all steps are reversible are you getting so let us copy this one so you can convert trans to cis or cis to trans by two ways one way is to radical initiator you can use another you can have acid catalyzed so it can be conversion can be acid catalyzed or it can be base uh, a radical catalyzed let us go for the next problem